So Sparta comes with a lot of example input scripts to teach you how to run the program. If you want to see this in the manual, it's number seven. So from the Sparta directory, let's go into examples. Okay, so all of these should work. Um, I'm just going to choose step because it's the first one that I run um, when I first use Sparta. So we'll go into step. And the way that I compiled uh, this program was using MPI, which means it will run in parallel. So to run the program, you need to type in MPI run. Then you need to type in the location of uh, the Sparta file that you made before. So you could copy it into this directory and just type in SPA MPI. But because mine is it's still in the source folder. I'm just going to put in the location of that. So I need to go up one, up two, into source, and then spawn pi. And then you put in this arrow and your input script. So for us, that's called in.step. And all the examples in um, this folder, it's in.something. So it could be in.ablation or in.adapt. In this case, it's in.step for the input script. And when Sparta runs, it will produce um, all these stats and things that you can control in the input script. And as you can see, there isn't that much output uh, when you do that. There's just a, a Sparta log. So what if you want to see uh, pictures or a video of your, uh, your simulation? Well, you open up the example script. You scroll down, and these dump commands are what make pictures and output files and all of that. So this says dump to image, which means it's going to make an image. So if we uncomment these and save our file and run it again, this time a lot of PPM image files were created. And I found that PPM uh, sometimes going to be a little bit challenging to open up. So I mentioned before that you can convert image automatically to JPEG or PNG with the Sparta compilation options. You can also use image magic to do the conversion after you've made the pictures, or you can just make the PPMs into a GIF, which is what I'm going to do. So you type in convert star PPM and the name of your GIF, so I'll just call it output.gif. Now right now I am logged into my desktop, so I have not set up the image forwarding. So I'm going to log out and then use SCP to copy this to my laptop computer and then move that into Windows so we can see the GIF. So like before, the command is SCP. And then you can put in uh, the name of the remote connection. So this is my remote IP address. It's not really a remote because it's right next to me, but that's what it's called. And then the path to my file. I want to copy this onto the Windows portion of my machine. So if you were using Linux and you had an image viewer on Linux, uh, for example, Firefox can open these GIFs. This is obviously a lot faster, which is a little convoluted for me because of my setup. And now here's the output of step. You can see the particles flowing around, uh, kind of a 2D step shape. So that's how you run an example script in Sparta. If you have your own scripts that you want to run, the process is essentially the same. Um, you can start out by just copying the input scripts and changing the parameters that you need. There are some dependencies. For example, if we go back up, you can see there is this air.species, air.vss, 
um, data.step, log.step. In.step is the input file. Data.step is probably some sort of output file. As, uh, log.step is probably kind of this thing um, in a file. Air.species and air.vss define the molecule and add in parameters of your input. And you can also um, include a shape file. So like with the step, this data.step might actually be um, that shape of the step that gets read into the in.step. So if you're just starting out, you can look at the examples, just modify the things you need, and then in another video, I'll show you line by line how to go through and make your own input file for Sparta. And one thing to remember is that this is just running on a desktop. When you want to run it on a uh, something like Ravana, a computing cluster, it's going to be different to build it and different to run it. So um, this is just if you want to feel a bit familiar with it on your own computer. Um, but I'll make some more videos about how to run it on the bottom.